Yo. <laughs> right. Made a cock up, didn't I? Took out my uh, camera the other day and um, I realised I didn't have my card in it. So I spent a whole day trying to um, vlog, as you do, with no memory card. So it's been a few days. Last time I spoke to you was when I was speaking to you about after the pre-judging. And I was um, relatively happy with what we brought. Um, the following day, in short, I tried to come in a little bit, a little bit tighter. Um, I don't know how I look because they haven't put any pictures up of finals. finals of individuals finals, and we did get rejudged a little bit. Um, I actually managed to um, secure 16th spot, which. In the way they judge at the Olympia, there's normally just 1 to 15 and then there's just everybody 16 after. But at this particular Olympia, there's actually a 16th spot and then everyone's a 16 below that because uh, the point system, the lowest basic score you get is 80. Um, and there's 80 and 80 on everybody apart from my score in the 16 slot. Mine's 80 and 79. So I'm actually in 16th place, which isn't too bad. Um, obviously I would have liked to have done better but considering the depth of the field and me not getting it exactly right I think that's a fair spot um, I was in the same call out so I ended up around where Charles Griffin um, Justin Rodriguez Antoine and Akeem that was our call out which was a good call out still a really good call out um, but yeah so we did that came away from the show went out last night and stayed up a bit too late and had a lot of food and I'm knackered today. I'm like walking around like a zombie. We've checked out, but we're gonna be here for the day as such. Um, possibly doing a podcast to flex, just trying to sort it out. Um, just basically, really today, it's always have a, a day where it's just quiet, but I'm so tired. I've got an ulcer from being up late and just like, I think everybody that's been on this trip, to some degree feels quite battered. Um, Everybody's got like a cold, a cough, ulcers, like I haven't got a cough or anything, I've just got ulcers. And when I've got ulcers, that's when I know I haven't had enough rest. So I'm obviously um, just battered. Um, so yeah, I haven't had breakfast or anything today because I woke up just not feeling hungry. So we're having a stroll around in, what building is this, Jennica? Cosmopolitan. We're in the Cosmopolitan. And find something to eat. I think we wanted to have egg slut. You look to that. Well, I said it would be quite a good shout. I don't mind. Whatever you want to have, we'll have. I just need coffee. Just sit down, coffee, drink, and uh, some food. So we'll find somewhere and let you know. Right, so we found... Uh, found Exlap. We found Exlap, but it's really, really busy. The queue's like wrapped around the whole building. Like, it's literally like all the way down that corridor. So um, we'll... Uh, we just saw this place, which hasn't quite opened yet. So we're getting the queue quite short. Yannicka just needs a coffee and I just need some food. <laughs> right, we've confirmed. Podcast, two o'clock. What is on the menu here? I don't even know. Um, Scrooble peanut butter whisk. Oh, wait, that's, what am I looking at? <clears throat> Fresh, frothy. Roots adds. I'm not even looking at food, I don't think. I don't know. Oh, wait, no, there is kale salad, big buns. Okay, but yeah, 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 okay, okay. Oh, yes, this is on the said nosh, greys, big buns. Ah, okay, cool, cool, cool. Now I'm getting a figure. Right, we'll see what we want. Right, the food has arrived. I've got myself a, uh, a steak sandwich, some chips. yannick has got a. What did you get in the end? Just a classic bun. So it's just basically a normal burger. The bun looks quite good though. Yeah. For a gluten free bun. Mm. We'll see how this goes. Coffee on hand. Yeah. Holsteins. Quite a nice day, isn't it? Um, it's been sunny every day. It's not, um, not overcast at all, is it? You haven't been out really, have you? <laughs> no. 
No, not really. So I've been um everyone from this trip's a bit battered, like I was saying earlier. Everyone's been ill. We spoke to um Yannick spoke to Alexia, Chris's wife. And she's feeling a bit run down as well. What did she say? Oh she's in bed. I like, just feeling rough. Yeah, yeah. What was she saying? Like what sort of doing? She just feels sick, like throat. Yeah. Cough. I say my my tongue literally has got about four or five freaking ulcers all down it. Um I'm wobbling today, I tell you guys. <laughs> I'm wobbling. Might have had a couple of celebration drinks last night. A couple. But uh, obviously I don't drink. It's even a, a drink, a celebration shot would affect me more than most. Because I'm a pussy. So yeah, we're just rolling down the strip. We ain't really got no plans. We're going to head to the lair for two o'clock. And then do a uh, podcast. Hopefully I'm on point and actually make sense of some of the stuff I say. <laughs> need, to go go need to concentrate today. Um, yeah, we meant to do a bit of shopping as well. Um, what else? Podcast. Yeah, I said that. We upgraded our flights on the way home because it wasn't too expensive. We were we were flying um, premium economy. And then we did look at upgrades, but it was so fucking expensive. We were like, fuck that. But then when we checked yesterday, it was a lot cheaper. So I um, managed to get upgrade for a, a matter of hundreds rather than thousands. And it's definitely worth it when you're doing these long trips. Like Jamie said on his video, flying, you know, 10, 11 hours. And overnight as well. Overnight and you want some actual proper food. If it's affordable, I know it's not in everyone's budget. Um, but if it's something you try to consider maybe way prior to traveling so you can save money because I think if you book a ticket really in advance normally it's better yeah. um, and then don't book, don't buy the business ticket out first no because that's always really expensive so you buy wait for the upgrade offer okay so yeah. you buy your, your premium economy a long time before the flight like you're going away and then when it gets close to your scheduled flight check for upgrades and then you might be able to find something for a matter of hundreds. Anyway, I don't even know what the. Okay, you stop me from walking. Down, so you turned right. <sighs> right, anyway. Let's walk. No jaywalking. Uh, maybe. Oh, we missed the fountain. Yeah. I was recording. I wasn't even recording. It's a good. It was a good thing I wasn't. Anyway. Oh, the lady's doing maintenance. Oh yeah. Probably not. Caesar's Palace. Caesar's Palace, that's where we're walking to now. Oh, look at the size of this dog. He's a big lad. He's huge. He's beautiful. beautiful. Lovely dog. Huge. Don't know what breed that was. So we came past here last night when we drove to uh, the Venetian. Yeah. Now I wanted to go on the roller coaster in New York, New York. And me and Chris will I know. But it's, uh, but it's down for maintenance from today till Friday, so. Uh, and me and Chris were too sure. Yeah, the boys don't want to do it. Too scared. Too scared. I always really love the look of this part. Like these shops around the bottom. So. I suppose reflecting on the show, like I, I suppose use this video to, I haven't talked about the show much because I haven't really got much to say because I was like I say quite happy. Um, you probably see it in the posts I've put up. I saw Neil Hill yesterday didn't I? And he was like, you're so close. He was like, four pounds, he said if you pulled four pounds of fluid off, spot on, perfect. Um, so, you know, it's, uh, we're getting there guys, we're getting there, we're getting close to what we know we're capable of doing. Um, and I have a new tanning strategy as well, which I think will... Lee, Lee's tanning strategy, so Lee yeah. Priest offered us some advice on tanning, because you, a lot of you have said this to me and you will notice it as well. Obviously us pale guys, when we start tanning up, because we're putting quite a lot of layers on, it does actually affect how you look condition wise. You end up like losing a lot of your sharpness. Um, so Lee gave us a, a protocol as such, which uh, makes a lot of sense. And obviously Lee's very white as well, so it worked for him in all his years of bodybuilding, so we'll try it as well. Um, 
Film the girls, where are they? They're everywhere. They are. I don't make eye contact with them though, because they always want to pay. They want you to pay them to take a picture of them. So they say, take a picture of us, and then you pay them. <laughs> um, I want to be like, bitch, you take a picture of me and take a picture, uh, pay me. You pay me. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Right, we're going to continue wandering on. Anyway, this is like I say, this is vlog stuff. Sorry that I missed a couple of days. Like I said, I went out without the battery, um, without the card in it. And it's kind of, a, a, it's quite bad I did that because it was like an integral moment when the show and that was going on. And my bad for not filming at the meet and greet. Yeah, she's your a bit. camera was way underneath your legs. When I sometimes, it. yeah, the meet and greet. We were in between Nick and Big Rami. It was hard to, it was yeah. Too many people. It was chaos, but it was great though. It was, the it meet was and greet lovely. was amazing. Really, really amazing. So thank you to everyone again who came out to the meet and greet. Yeah, it was, it was tremendous. Even the guys that wanted to see Annika, you know. They're like, Annika, can I have a picture? Caesar's Palace. The Hotel. I didn't realise. Yannicka was like, this is the hotel part. I had no idea. I was just like, let's just go wherever. Oh, was that um, Gordon Ramsay? Yeah. It's a shrine. Oh yeah, the shrine. The shrine. Is it shrine? There's the three monkeys. Hmm. Peaceful. Again, Genova vibes. Any of you don't know what Genova is? Let me show you. Have a look at this. Final Fantasy Seven. Genova, no head. Cool curved escalators. Christmas tree coming right up. Lovely. Good time of year. It's a nice tree in it, Yannicka. Yes. Nice tree. Uh, how do you pronounce that? Altered, altered State. Altered State. What did they sell, Yannicka? Just nice things. Nice dresses. I bought a dress. From Altered State. These other dress I wanted, but I don't even have any other sizes. Okay, we're getting taken into the female shop. Wish me luck. I must choose a 
VA lounge. I'm gonna get some food. I'm freaking hungry. It's been ages. I'm thirsty. <sighs> My hands up. <laughs> Am I still recording? I'm still recording. Nearly broke the camera. Anyway, VA lounge. Gonna get some food. Jasmine rice. Jasmine rice. Chili. Let's get some chili. Is this big enough bowl? Got bread. Plates. Selection's a bit dead. Um, <laughs> I'll put you down for a minute to get my food. Would you call this type of chili? I don't know, bean chili? Dead chili. That's like what you get for being in the private club. <laughs> huh? Not very nice. Okay. Right, fast forward the day. We're now hours later. Delayed by an hour and a half. Look who it is. It's the big lad. Top six. Oh, look at this as well. Sorry, I'm just doing some random. Oh, wait, let me just turn it around because I don't have to use this thing. I'm vlogging, yeah. It's just, I bought this off Matt Tofton. Oh, your top is sick. Why didn't I get that one? Did you not see this one? Flex, why did you not give this one to Tilda, bro? Yeah, and why did you not have my size and stuff? I had to get 2XL. That's a nice one, though. People think I think I'm massive now. You are massive. You've got delts for days. Delts for days. Samson, while we're here, because I might as well just interview the fucking king. Taste of the rainbow. So, taste the rainbow. <laughs> You're getting on the plane now. Oh, yeah, go and get on the plane. Well done again. Now they've got on camera evidence. Thank you, man. Next stop, Appreciate Arnold Classic, Columbus, Ohio. Oh, yeah. Bring the heat. Nigerian oh, Lion. Wow. That's cool, man. We won, we won the Arnold title, right? Do it back to you. Team Hostile. You know, like, Hostile are my, like, kind of adopted. Yeah, I'm like an adopted family. Yeah, man. like, I know I'm young Mo, but these are, my, these are my guys as well, you know? <laughs> all right. Love you all. It's yeah. been a pleasure. Thank you. Just gonna keep pointing the camera at you all because you're pretty. <laughs> I'll see you later. Just that moment, like, yeah, it's like, what are you saying? Okay. Honestly, okay, so safe travels, guys. Okay, well. Tilda, I'll speak to you. I'll probably speak to you after Christmas. Sort out some more shit. I wouldn't say it's better quality. Um, I find the phone really crisp. The phone's really crisp, but, but it's just so easy to edit because you're just using an SD card. So. Yeah, so you can transfer over. Just put the SD card in the computer and then just upload them in an order. I don't do no actual edit, I just put them in an order. Oh, the SD card um, reader that goes straight to your iPhone? Uh, no, but you could do that as well. Yeah. Tilda knows her shit. Oh, yeah. So it's probably worth asking Tilda. But I, I like doing this just because I like having this camera to see well, what I'm doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's like... This is 1080, uh, 1080, um, it's full HD. But our phones now can get like fucking like 1440 or whatever, it's 4K and all that. So th this is okay. Um, this is something that also, I know it sounds weird, it just feels more user friendly than the phone. Sometimes I feel like it's fiddly when you're on the phone. Yeah. Yeah, look, it's like, I'm, I'm not even looking at it, look. I feel this. <laughs> but yeah, like, it's easy enough. So uh, I'm expecting to see your YouTube blow up now. Got all the tips. You've got a YouTube channel. Okay, okay. So, so you have got a channel. What is it under? Samson. All right. So get on the YouTube. Subscribe. I want to see him monetizing on that channel. When you guys subscribe and you watch his videos, you're helping him afford more chicken and rice. So make sure. Absolutely. If you want him to win the Olympia, guys, he's going to need more chicken and rice. So fucking sweet. All right. I'll see you in a bit. Peace. See you later, guys. So yeah. Um, delayed by an hour and a half. Gonna just go and get a coffee for uh, Yannicka if I can get one. And uh, yeah, fast forwarded off for the day because we didn't really do nothing after that. I did a really good podcast with Flex. And uh, that won't be out there for a little while because it's got to be edited and stuff. So I thought I would leave that um, until another time. Just want to say thank you to Flex for letting me get on there. Um, it's a great opportunity for people like us to be able to go on a platform like that and have an opportunity to speak and help share some words maybe of wisdom maybe not 
Um, anyway, Las Vegas airport, not home yet, flight delayed, hour and a half, which is good because it means I'm going to get tired and be able to sleep on the flight. The plan is to sleep, this is an overnight flight. So, uh, yeah, Starbucks, chill, see you in a bit. Yeah, Nico. Bleh. We are two and a half hours delayed. BA. Getting a bad review from me. The, the lounge was awful. Big dog, Aiden, brother. Yeah, you good, yeah? The, uh, the lounge was awful. The food was dog shit. There was no choices. Chili con carne. Nothing for Yannicka. Stecker, you bastards. <sighs> meant to be, uh, meant to be over the board soon, but you never know this shit. Anyway, getting sleepy, which is probably a good thing, because it means when we get on the plane, hopefully we can actually sleep. So we'll see. Just for an update. You. Peace. I think this is recording. We're finally here. You made it. I'm going to brush my teeth. I'm going to brush mine as well. So we'll see you back in England. Peace. Uh, we're home. And I'm battered. <sighs> we made it back. Let's uh, wrap this video up. That is it. That is it. Back to normality. What is the plan now? The plan is to have some rest over this Christmas period. Reflect on the good things. And, uh, keep in the loop with you guys so yeah I hope you enjoyed some of this footage and felt like you was part of this and uh, enjoyed being present sorry if I sound like a zombie I feel like a zombie we just literally got off that flight which was like 11 hours and I'm like I'm going to order a pizza I just farted I need a shit and then go to bed so that is the end of the Olympia trip. Another Olympia done. God bless you all. Remember to like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you for more. I keep farting, listen. <laughs> oh, I'll see you soon.